Okay, so the things you'll need to record your gameplay on your computer are a fast computer, uh, the program Fraps, some video editing software, and a microphone and Skype if you want to record your Skype conversations. So type Fraps into Google and uh, you can download a trial for the program Fraps. Okay, so once you have Fraps installed, open it up and click on the Movies tab. Um, the first thing you want to do is choose where the recorded files are going to be saved. Click Change and choose a directory where you, uh, you want the files that Fraps records to be saved. Choose the Video Capture Hotkey, mine's F6. And the next thing you want to decide on is the frames per second. The higher the frames per second, the bigger the file will be. Um, but the lower the frames per second, uh, games that you play, uh, I think are sometimes capped, they're not always. I think you can um, check lock frame weight to make sure that they're uh, locked at a certain frame rate while you're playing a game. Um, I set mine to 30 for tutorials and 60 for uh, games that I know I can support 60 frames per second while recording. Um, full size will give you a bigger file size for the files uh, and half size will give you a lower file size but slightly lower quality. So to record your Skype conversations or your microphone um, you need to make sure that your microphone is set up and configured and working and you need to tick the box record external input that is your microphone so Fraps will be recording your voice and then you also need to tick record Windows 7 sound that'll be recording what comes out of your computer hopefully it should be Skype if you've got Skype running and people are talking that'll come through Windows 7 sound and so everything should get picked up so once you've loaded up your game you should see a yellow counter on the top left telling you your frames per second or how fast the game is running um, mine's red, when you hit uh, record it'll turn red and the idea is to get the game to run as fast as possible ideally at 60 FPS while still maintaining a recording at 60 FPS so that might require you to turn the graphical settings down but uh, 30 FPS is fine for some videos and other games as well so once you've hit record and you've played your game and you've got your footage you need to go to the directory where you chose to save the files if you don't know where that is then um, check on the Fraps program under the Movies tab and uh, you'll have these files that have uh, the dates dates on them and you'll notice that they're probably quite large these are 30 second clips and they're 250 megabytes some of them, that one's 4 gigabytes uh, so what you need to do is to render them down into a different file type in order to make them smaller so you can upload them to YouTube to do that, you'll need video editing software. Now, you might be able to do this in uh, Windows Movie Maker, which comes with most Windows machines, but I don't use that. I use Sony Vegas Pro. So once you've dragged and dropped your clip onto the Vegas timeline, uh, or your footage or whatever, and uh, you've done your editing, you need to go to File, Render As, and select a uh, video rendering option. Now, the one I use is Main Concept avc slash aac dot mp4 files. The reason I use this format, uh, as I'll show you, when you click a customized template, is because it supports uh, GPU rendering. GPU rendering basically means it will render the video using the graphics card rather than the central processing unit, which is significantly faster, uh, especially if you have a better graphics card than you do CPU. So, if you want to use that mode, then use render using GPU if available and you can uh, check this by clicking the system tab here and check GPU and it'll do a check for you if not then using the CPU it'll, it does exactly the same thing, it'll just be slower um, so the next thing to do is to sort of estimate the file size and to do that you need to select a maximum bitrate and an average bitrate um, if you've got a 10 minute long video then you'll want to set a lower bitrate in order to get a lower file size for a sort of 10 to 15 minute video I use somewhere around this sort of bitrate maybe a bit lower I'll probably use around 10,000 or sorry 10 million um, or something like that and a lower average bitrate that'll probably come up with a file size of about maybe 500 megabytes for a 13 minute video probably isn't too bad um, one way to test how big the file is going to be is uh, set your maximum and average bit rates to uh, whatever you want them to be along with the audio, the audio doesn't affect file size too much but I have mine at around 192 um, 
set the bit rates and if you go if you go into your clip you need more than a minute long clip um, if you go into your clip and drag these yellow arrows out here and find on the left there where it says one minute almost exactly uh, then go to file render as um, find your customized template or whichever template you decide to use um, this is audio, hang on a second. Main concept ABC, yeah, that's it. Scroll down here on the right and click uh, render loop region only and render that render that clip. When that's done rendering, find your clip, you choose where to save them up the top here uh, in the outputs folder. Um, right click and see how big the file size is. That way you'll be able to see for one minute if the file size is 50 megabytes, you'll be able to times uh, the file size by however many minutes your video is and get an estimate of how big the file size is going to be of the final product um, relatable to your to the quality that you selected in the bitrate. So before you render the finished thing, be sure to uncheck render loop region only. There should be some similar options in Windows Movie Maker, so have a look around to see if you can find some similar options. Uh, and the final product should be a smaller file size of your gameplay footage and you should be able to upload that to YouTube. Now like I said, if you're having microphone issues then you need to make sure that Skype is working properly, that you can hear everybody on Skype and everybody can hear you on Skype. If that's working then let me just open up Fraps here um, and you've got record Windows 7 sound and record external input and your microphone's listed then that should work fine. If this isn't listed here, then there's probably something wrong and you need to reinstall your microphone. One more thing, if you want to record your desktop, then uh, in Fraps, go to the General tab and click Monitor Aero Desktop. That's what I used to make this video. It should come up with a counter if you have the Aero theme enabled. Um, to check to see if you have the Aero theme enabled, right click and go to Personalize and look for an Aero theme, click one and make sure it's applied. That way you'll get the counter in the top left here and you'll be able to record your desktop. Anyway, if you like the video, then uh, please subscribe and uh, see you guys in the next one.